welcome to Shinza Maliness, uh, and I'm joined here again by Dr. Mario Abdenour, one of our Rebeldendo faculty. Mario, thank you for joining me. Thanks, Ali. Again, Mario uh, and I are going to do case-based learning number 12. This is going to be a short one, but it's a wonderful case uh, that Mario has done. It's a very interesting one, and we're going to talk about your decision-making here, Mario, and how you went about doing a surgical repair of a tooth that seemed to be uh, pretty much doomed for extraction and Correct. however you uh, somehow managed to kind of bring it back uh, to life from the dead, if you will. Okay, so um, this is the case of a maxillar, uh, of a mandibular first molar, tooth number uh, 19, and I'll let you tell us about this uh, and what's going on. Well, the uh, tooth uh, underwent uh, endodontic therapy about two years before by an endodontist. Uh, it did develop uh, after that uh, sinus tract, and the x-ray shows definitely a defect at the forcation level. He was told that uh, the tooth was basically doomed, uh, and that the prognosis was very poor, and that the patient required an extraction and an implant. The patient came to us uh, for a second opinion, and we initially agreed with the diagnosis that it would be probably a fracture, and we decided to uh, get in there and uh, do a small or little exploratory surgery. Also, retreatment was discussed, but uh, at this point, uh, we did not think that there was uh, excessive flare and the uh, uh, exploratory surgery was performed. So it's very interesting, Mario, because the, um, it seems like the apices are clear, but Correct. the lesion is confined to the focal area. And oftentimes, you know, when you see something like this, if the patient has a history of periodontal disease elsewhere, then you can exactly. kind of say that it is, might be related to the perio. Correct. But where they don't have periodontal conditions, especially on, you know, contralateral side, then you know there's something that's going on endodontically. Definitely. And I think if we uh, go and look at the x-ray of this tooth from preoperatively that you apparently maintain that you got from the uh, original um, uh, dentist when they did the root canal therapy you can see that there was really no lesion there exactly right so somehow after the treatment this lesion had been developed Correct. and um, as this is a picture that you took and I think that also shows that's exactly what a sinus tract is right on the focal area correct and besides that the probing was about uh, five millimeters five wow. to six millimeters yeah through the sulcus so I through the sulcus as well. So exactly. I mean, this is this is really a this is the kind of cases where you look at it and you say, well, it's a fracture and so on. It seems from what you explained to me that this patient was adamant in trying to at least do whatever is possible to see if it's savable. Correct. And you decided to do a surgical exploratory surgery to confirm that there is a crack or not. So exactly. At least right. you've done everything to save it. So go ahead and uh, tell me then. Uh, so this shows the X-ray after the root canal was done immediately by the endodontist Correct. that did it. And again, there is no lesion at that point, right? There is no lesion. There is no apparent uh, excessive flare where you might have contacted the uh, uh, distal concavity of the mesial root, which on occasions can be very prominent. Exactly. Uh, also, you don't know if when it was restored, uh, rubber dam uh, isol isolation was used because that also could be a cause, contamination during restoration and then uh, either a furcal or accessory canal got contaminated. Mm. But uh, we strongly thought at that point that a fracture or some sort of uh, uh, disruption mm. was, uh, was evident. So since you don't have a video of the actual uh, uh, exploratory surgery, can Correct. you explain to our viewers what exactly you saw when you went in there? Well, after reflecting the tissue, uh, it was clear that uh, obviously some granulation tissue was found uh, around the forcation area. After all that was enucleated, there was a little dark area with a little bit of uh, several lines, uh, some if you call it, if you might call it graze lines, that did uh, appear around that dark area. So it could have been, now that I look back into it, uh, either a lateral canal and uh, with some uh, possibly cracks that developed posteriorly after the, uh, the root canal, non-surgical root canal was performed. So it is um, uh, either a furcal canal or maybe just pressure from condensation during the, the process. So this be. is very interesting. This is the x-ray uh, uh, of your immediate post-op of the case. And it's that, this is, this is uh, obviously, as you can see here, there is a uh, repair of the mesial aspect, Correct. or rather the distal aspect of the mesial root, 
in the area where you saw that little, uh, you know, dark spot. Exactly right. And uh, so at that time, you know, we had two choices. One, to, uh, you know, basically resuture and retreat or just go ahead and uh, basically expand and clean out that little defect area that we found. And, uh, you know, after using ultrasonic uh, instrumentation, uh, you know, and the use of bioceramic putty, then I use in this case a fast set bioceramic putty, we decided to go and uh, basically go ahead with the treatment and, uh, and observe the tooth in the next few months. And so this is very, I mean, this is, this, this is an awesome surgical repair um, uh, skills. You use probably the microscope or some kind of magnification, illumination in order to see no question. The, uh, the area the well. Microscope, yes. And as a result, you've done a very effective job of actually repairing it on that site. Yeah, and you. you would <laughs> think that this is a case like this, we immediately post-op, that there's zero chance that this would heal. I mean, that's, if somebody showed me that, I would be like, there's no way this is going to work. Basically, but, the way we're arranging with the patient yeah. is, you know, if it does not work, then yeah. basically, you know, charge a consultation fee and that's, yeah, that's, that's basically it. it exactly so that's amazing and now look at that this is your six months post-op of this case right and it, it, all the bonus come back and I mean that's that's amazing and you have another angle uh, radiograph of this exactly. area that you could see that this this the, the bone has kind of come back in very nicely 